Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to make money with Amazon's affiliate program. First off, if you're new to the channel, this is Life Without Boundaries. This is where we give you strategies on how to build a business online, make money online, so that you can tear down the financial boundaries in your life. So if any of that is interesting to you, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell notification because we release videos five times a week. So what is Amazon's affiliate program? Amazon's affiliate program is officially known as Amazon Associates. And basically you can sign up through the website and you can put in your information, tell them what kind of objects you're gonna sell, and you're able to get links, banners, and advertisements, and things for those products to put on your blog, or on your website, or on your Facebook, or YouTube channel. And when people click those things, and they go buy them, then you get a commission from that. It may really sound simple, but in essence, it's not. You can't just go out there and stick a product and expect people to buy it. You have to have a main source of traffic. You have to have people coming to your offer and be interested in what you have to sell. Uh, some ways that you can do this is through a blog or through a YouTube channel or Instagram. Basically anywhere where people are followed or view your content as valuable and then they trust you at your word and when you present these offers they're more likely to go and purchase these things. Now, uh, I personally use YouTube. I'm starting to, I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel. So uh, once I get a following, then this will be my main source of traffic. Uh, maybe you're good with uh, social media. Maybe you have a strong following on Instagram. That would be a good place for you to start affiliate marketing through Amazon Associates. You can find products that relate to what you talk about and uh, start selling those products. If you are in the workout niche, you uh, are into fitness, you can start finding um, things on Amazon that will help sell to your customers, help sell to the people that are interested in what you're talking about. There are people that are making tens of thousands of dollars a month selling this stuff off of Amazon. And one of the best perks about Amazon Associates is, is that even if they don't buy the product that you send them to, for 24 hours, if they buy anything off of Amazon, you get a commission for it. So if they, if you send them to go buy a, like a $5 juice mix or something, and they end up buying a big screen TV that day, you get the commission on the TV. But most of the time, you want most of your products to be coming from what you're advertising. The smaller that your niche is, the better results you will have in selling your product. Uh, Right now, essential oils is a huge business, and it's a very, very specific niche, but people there are making a killing with essential oils. Um, another small niche would be like vegan dog food. Uh, there's a huge market for that, but it's such a very specific niche. And because it's very specific, there's not much competition, so you get lots of traffic because you're one of the only ones doing it. Um, so if your niche is too broad, like health or um, you know art, you might want to try and narrow it down to something smaller. Uh, I know people who are in the uh, technology technology niche. What they do is, is they focus on specific things, like you know best cameras for outside use or best cameras for filming indoors, best lighting for this, best lighting for that. And the smaller you get the more people you're able to reach. So that's one strategy that you can do to really boost your sales with Amazon Associates. One thing that's good about using Amazon over other affiliate uh, marketplaces is that Amazon's probably the most trusted e-commerce business in the world. It's huge, so when people see that your links are going to Amazon, they're more likely to buy what you have to offer because there are lots of really yeah, sketchy uh, scams out there that send people to really sketchy websites and, and people are kind of turned off by that and you may end up losing some of your audience because of that but when you use Amazon uh, people kind of have it kind of has builds that automatic trust that people say okay well he's just sending me to an Amazon link so I know that I can trust Amazon with my credit card information and all this stuff because they've shopped with Amazon before 
So that is a huge plus side in starting a business because without the trust of people, without an audience, it's easier to sell items from a trusted source. Now there are some rules that Amazon puts into place for their associates program. One rule is that you have to make a sale within the first three months of signing up. Uh, if you don't do this, it's not really a big deal. You can just reapply and get reaccepted into the program. But after three months, if you don't make a sale, then they shut down your account, uh, which again, isn't really a big deal because you can just start it back up. Uh, but that is something you want to keep in the back of your mind so that you can stay busy to keep Amazon uh, knowing that you are going to make sales and that you are working for them and making them money. Another thing is that you can't reproduce reviews from Amazon. Amazon really frowns upon just taking reviews that are already there and just copying them in your blog or in your video. What you really want to do is you really want to give an honest review or an honest comparison between two items that you're selling to kind of up your chances of making that sale. Uh, Amazon wants you to be authentic and it wants you to do most of the work in informing your audience on what they should buy and what they shouldn't. Also, you can't spam your Amazon links anywhere and everywhere. You have to kind of keep it uh, centralized. If you're doing it on Facebook a lot, then Amazon's going to notice and your account's going to get shut down. What you might want to do is you might want to keep it to direct messages in Facebook. Or uh, if you keep it on your blog or on your website, you can send people from Facebook to your website. That would be a better way to do it. Uh, on, on videos, you want to keep your links in the description. You don't really want to go around to uh, other forums and things just posting links because that's a really good way to get your account shut down. Also, don't include your affiliate links in emails. Now this kind of goes along with email marketing. What you want to do is you want to create a landing page. Now we talked a little bit about this in the affiliate marketing video, but a landing page is basically a website that sends people to what you're selling. So if you have your product name up here, and then you want to say continue to your offer continue and then make them put in their email if they are if you already have it, uh, their email on your email list they are going to get sent straight to the offer but if they're new like from a YouTube channel and someone subscribed and wants to go to the offer then the email capture page is what you need to do once they're in your email uh, database you'll be sending out emails to everybody that's on your list let's put emails and this is what we were talking about earlier you can't put your links in these emails at least the direct links what you want to do is you want to direct the links to another landing page or what they call is a sales page sales page kind of maybe with a video of you on it explaining the product and saying you know this is a great product and explaining the benefits of it, maybe some testimonial reviews of how the product is good, and then give them the link to Amazon. Amazon. And that will take them to the actual uh, product. So that's a safer way to do it uh, where your account won't get shut down. Now, if you do have your own business online and you want to start selling things like Amazon Associates, these landing pages and emails. It's all part of your business cost. You're going to need these tools, and these tools aren't free. Uh, you can get the email autoresponder from uh, getresponse.com or aweber.com. Uh, but a lot of times, if you get those, the emails won't really work well with the landing pages. Uh, they don't communicate too well. Uh, they work okay, but you really want that autonomy between them. And that's why I recommend ClickFunnels. Now, ClickFunnels, if you want to give it a try, there's a link down in the description that'll give you a free trial. But ClickFunnels is pretty much the all-in-one business uh, tool manager. It manages your, your emails, it manages your landing pages. You can create sales funnels to try and really uh, dial in on what your customers want to maximize conversion rates and to maximize sales and to maximize profits. So that's how I, that's how I do my business is with ClickFunnels, and I recommend ClickFunnels to um, everyone that I, I talk to about starting a business online. So uh, if you want to check that out, click the link in the description, 
and sign up for your free trial. Uh, if not, you can always just use the links by themselves and not capture any emails, but then again, you're losing those leads for future sales. So it's really important. If you're not really interested in making an online business, I just made a video about 15 creative ways you can make a little side income online. And go ahead and click that right there uh, in the ending page. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow with another video.